Hey, Craig. Let's get into some coffee talk. Hey, I love it. I love doing some coffee talk. Well, you know, talk about what? Dogs, daughters, whatever. It's coffee talk. Coffee talk. Ooh, coffee talk. Mm. We're coffee talking. Oh, Mr. Craig, where is your coffee talk mug? I have a kitty cat mug today. <laughs> It's all that spilled down it. It's my third <laughs> espresso from my espresso machine. Ooh. You got to get that. What? Breville. I know. That thing looks good. Yeah. It's been Man, a week. It has been. And I sometimes I'm a little tireder at the end of the week. You know, the sure. weekend comes and, and it's well received, I think. Um, but man, it was a whirlwind. The Matheson brothers know how to do it. Yeah, they they did it and they did it fast. Yeah. So I think there's two takeaways? incredible takeaways from that. I'd call them brilliant. Ooh. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Let's do this. Organization mm-hmm. and accountability. But oftentimes, as managers or or agency owners, depending where you're at in your agency, you look at those things as tools that need that the team needs to be doing, not necessarily holding them against yourself, right? Mm. So that self accountability and discipline, and then that organization. And if you're like me, that's a hard part. That organization. Like, which requires a lot of accountability. I mean, they're like, they're hand in hand, these things. And I think uh, that the hundred percent, a hundred percent. Yeah. So, so what are some takeaways that we, that we got from the Mathesons, Mr. Jason, along those lines? I mean, I think that's it. It goes back to the theme of, you know, Monday and like even the theme of like last week and what we've been doing lately is that we really, need to value our time more and Mm -hmm. figure out and just schedule it, not be in the weeds. Uh, yeah, I think that's the key. Don't get out of the weeds. Yeah. Look at the most important, the most important results producing activities, right? And if you hold yourself accountable to those things, then you're going to get the results. Everybody, I think, Again, it's 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 this uh, shiny object syndrome. This this um, oh, I gotta put the fire out right now because it's easy to to see a result. So if if mm. you're answering every phone call as it comes in, hey, I need to take a payment. Oh, I got this. I'm pissed off about the glass or whatever. Right? Somebody's <laughs> mad about something. You handle it. Result. It's done. I had a great day. I got. A, I helped a whole bunch of people. Great. That's awesome you may have moved your retention one billionth of 1% instead of focusing on the bigger picture and looking at the thing that's going to literally move the needle over to the side and, and make the big difference. So the Matheson brothers, I can guess we never asked them, but I think this is a pretty good, um, a, a fair bet that they were not taking payments. No, right. No, they were they, actually talking about how they, yeah. I mean, after a while they w- really weren't like, um, really talking to to clients at that much, and, and they were more or less, uh, you know, developing those relationships with their centers right. of influence. They were the development officers. Yeah, okay. but they had yeah. to, they had to be scheduled, they had to yep. be consistent, and they had to hold themselves accountable. And that's why it's great to have that that team, because if you're the lone wolf, it's a lot. It it can be challenging. You can do it. Of course, you know, but it can be challenging to hold yourself accountable to that. And I I know that you and I hold each other accountable quite a bit, even even possibly today. But there's (laughs) there's a lot of those uh, those things that if if you don't hold yourself, then it's not going to happen. And then the people who are looking up to you, you know, take that from some of the leadership episodes we've had lately. Then yep. they're like, well, he's loosey goosey or she's loosey goosey. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Then it's, then it's chaos. Right. It's yeah. totally chaos. 
And so we on Monday we did the 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 top three things. Write those down that you get done. If you get that done during the day, you will feel good. You will feel like you've moved the needle. You know that these are the top three things that will take you to that next level. So going into now today is Friday, or it doesn't matter what day it is, but let's say it's Friday because <laughs> mm-hmm. that's when we drop this. Um, now wrap up the week. Did you? Get those things done. And if not, how are you going to hit Monday hard? So write it down. Write down what you need to hear on Monday to pick up where you left off. And you're not going to, you know, get back in the weeds again on right. Monday. So and it's, write that down. And it's not, it's taking, so you're taking an inventory of everything you did and looking at it, holding that Jeep. Did did you get off course or not? And it's not good or bad. Some people, I think, will will say, well, I don't want to do that because I don't want to look at how crappy I was, right? Or, or, or whatever, or I did great. I don't need to, but it's really important to look at that baseline. You said this week, so what? So you goofed up or you crushed it. Well, how much did you crush it above what you said you were going to do anyway? Cause Hey, you got to reward yourself when you do that. Maybe that means eating some ice cream, but if, <laughs> if you don't, it doesn't mean, Oh, I'm a loser. I can't do anything. It just means, okay. I can do better than that. And if you can yep. tell yourself in your mind, hey, I'm human, I'm going to screw up, but but I know I can do better. Well, heck, next week you are going to do better because it's going to be in your mind. And yep. this is, as as Garrett said, his week, the Matheson's brothers talked to it, um, Chris Platchy uh, talked to it, but the, this thing, this these six inches between the two ears is the only thing that gets in the way, right? It's the thing Truth. that's going to give you all of those reasons why you can't do it. Like the other day when I didn't go for a ride when I should have, you know, the, all the reasons I'm tired and all the stuff you tell yourself, it's this constant battle. And yep. sometimes you're not going to win. Sometimes you are hopefully more times than, than often you do. And yep. if you train, you do eventually win more often. Yep. That's it. You just, know, just readjust that GPS. If you need to, don't beat yourself yeah. up. Yeah. And get it going. Let's hit the weekend. Have hit fun. The weekend. Yeah. Let's Have a fun it. weekend. Don't forget yeah. to subscribe to the YouTube. To the tubes. Or the, the tunes of the iTunes. Or both. Or the, face, or the Facebook groups. Man, we got so much cool stuff. Oh, get involved. We never even the dudes, bring that up. Yeah. Man, the dudes want to hear from you. Like, honestly, we want to yeah. hear from you. We love it. And hey, if, if you have stuff that you're, you're not an, on, you're, nobody's on an island. Um, in the olden days, you used to not be able to interact with other agents unless you won the trip. Um, but now in this world, there is no excuse to not be connected with somebody who's going to help. I hope that we're helpful and, and, you know, we bring some good advice. But hey, if you don't like us, you're going to like the 2,000 other people that are in that Facebook group that we have. Jump in there and, uh, you know, introduce yourself to some people. Look for the people talking the most and getting the best results. They'll help you. Everybody wants to help. Yep. And if there's something you want us to talk about, hit us up. We'll talk about it. Hit us up. Good pat. All, All right, right, let's go. Hey, you've got to check out the Insurance Dudes Inner Circle coming soon where you get extended interviews as well as live coffee talks in our private Facebook group. Join the mailing list today at theinsurancedudespodcast.com. Hey, thanks for checking out the insurance dudes. Hey, please subscribe. We got some really great stuff coming out.